Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video I will be talking to you about the past tense. The past tense is one of the three simple tenses. We have the, the past tense, the present tense, and the future tense. And I have a brief description here that says the simple past tense tells you about a past action or a completed action. I have four examples here written on the board for you so that you can see how the past tense works. For example, it says, David and Daniel went to the store. Go. Okay, we are using the past of this verb here. And that tells you that it is a simple past tense. Went. Alexis and Jessica drove through the tunnel. We are using the verb drive in the simple past tense. So we know that it is the simple past. What happened yesterday? What happened a day ago or a week ago? Right? And the next one says, Mabel and Marina cooked dinner for Tom. We are using the verb cook in the past tense. And the third one says, Sheldon arrived late. We are using the verb arrive in the simple past tense. Alright, um, we have two types of verbs. We have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. The regular verbs will always have an ed ending in their past and past participle forms. And the irregular verbs will change in both past and past participle. They will not end in ed. For example, drive, drove. Past participle, driven. All right, that is why these are irregular and the others are regular because they don't change. Cook, cooked, and cooked. Arrive, arrived, and arrived. All right, so this is basically how you use the past tense. They tell you about a past action or a completed action. What you did yesterday, what you ate yesterday. And you must always use the verb in the simple past tense. Some people get confused and use a past participle. But no, when you use a simple past, simply use the simple past of the verb. All right. Next, I will give you some more practice examples and sentences so that you can keep practicing with me. All right, now you are going to help me decide which of these four sentences are not in the past tense. I drew a little um, timeline here so that you can tell that the past tense is like yesterday or a year ago. The present is today, and the future is, or will be, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, a year from now, a week from now. All right, so we are going to focus on yesterday, a week ago, a year ago, the past. What happened before about a past action or a completed action, all right? so. The first one says he was driving to Minnesota. We have was, this is a past tense of be, but then we see this other verb that ends in ing. So that tells you that it is progressive. So it is the past progressive tense. So we just want to focus on the simple past. So this wouldn't be correct because we want to know what happened, not what was happening or what you did, not what you were doing. All right. So if you have a verb in past plus a verb in ing form, that is not the simple past tense. That is a past progressive. The next one says they are dancing. They are. are is a present tense. So from there, we know that it is not going to talk about yesterday. Dancing. We have another verb 
that ends in ing. So that tells you it is progressive. Well, only the ing. <laughs> um, so we know that it is the present tense and progressive, present progressive. And we want to focus on the past, the simple past. So we know that this is by far wrong. The next one says, she went to the movie theater. She went. Went is the past or the simple past of go. Go is the present tense. Went, the simple past tense. And gone, the past participle tense. So we know that we have one verb in the past, in the simple past tense. So this is correct. She went to the movie theater. And the last one says, she did a good job. Did. We have the simple past of the verb do. And the past participle would be done. So we have one verb in the simple past tense. So we know that it is correct. She did a good job. We are talking about the past, yesterday. Not what you were doing, not what you were thinking, what you did or what you thought. Simple, not progressive. Do not get confused with those. All right? Next, I will leave you some homework because remember that you need to practice in order to be perfect. For homework, you are going to be writing four sentences using the past tense. Now you know how to do it. Remember not to use any other verb tense but the past tense. If you use the past participle tense, that is going to ruin your sentence. All right? So well, leave your homework in the comment section below this video. And if you have a workbook, just go ahead and do it there too. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this video was of help. And I will see you in our next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. I'm talking to you about introductory verbal phrases. Okay, when you have an introductory verbal phrase,